Nick is a short story by Christina Rossetti. This short story is from the perspective of an anonymous third-person narrator focused on the titular character, Nick. This cautionary tale was first published in 1870 in a short story collection titled Commonplace. The setting of the story is a late 19th century English countryside. Nick is a fantasy morality tale that highlights the woes of jealousy, greed, and discontentment in a comic fashion. First a summary of Nick, before we analyze it for its themes and main ideas. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Even though Nick's material needs are satisfied, Nick is described as impoverished because, with all these, he was discontented and envious. Nick's longing to be a flock of sparrows and devour his neighbor's cherries that I wish I were sparrows to eat them up, or a blight to kill your fine trees altogether. His wish is granted by a fairy who scorns him that he will be whatever he wishes to be but just for an hour. As she scolds him you shall straightway become everything you wish. Only mind, you must remain under one form for at least an hour. Transforming into a flock of sparrows, Nick embarks on a spree of cherry destruction. Giles Hodge, his neighbor, manages to shoot down all except one bird. In his sparrow form, Nick seeks refuge in a bush until the prescribed hour expires. However, just as he prepares to revert, suddenly a tabby cat pounced upon him. Prompting Nick to fervently wish for transformation to a dog, Nick tears the cat to pieces and lays down with the cat that he ripped to viciously. At last, glutted with vengeance, he lay down beside his victim, relaxed his ears and tail, and fell asleep. The distressed owner, the doctor's lady, searches for her missing pet. Stumbling upon Nick, still in the form of a dog, Nick swings at the woman, inciting cries of mad dog that rally the entire village in a hunt for the perceived wild animal. Dodging a bludgeon swung by a laborer, Nick wishes to become the weapon, causing it to miss its aim and break. Mystified by the dog's sudden disappearance, the laborer offers the broken bludgeon as firewood to his wife at home. The warmth and light emitted as Nick burns uplift the household's mood. Nick, however, is soured by the lively mood, he wished with all his might that he were fired to burn the cottage, but timely intervention by neighbors prevents its complete destruction. Reduced ere long to one blue flame, Nick reflects he had caused more injury to himself than to any of his neighbors and decides to focus on using the fairy's gift for his own advantage without trying to annoy other people as that. The fairy may not be angrier at him. He wishes to be the rich old man who lived in a handsome house, but the narrative takes a tragic turn. As the wealthy man, Nick dreams of his chest of money, only to be attacked and killed by masked men upon waking. Despite occupying a lifeless body, Nick remains conscious as the attackers steal the chest of money and search for additional valuables. The robbers are his servants and the people who worked for Nick that is the rich old man. The masked men then carry Nick's older body into the open air to bury him. As they place the body in the freshly dug up grave, Nick, with a prolonged unearthly yell, shivering from head to foot, he sat bolt upright, with starting, Staring eyes and chattering teeth making the scared robbers run away. Nick walked home and amended his errors with good deeds as he gave Giles Hodge a rare tulip root. He sent the doctor's wife a Persian cat twice the size of her lost pet. The laborer's cottage was repaired, his window glazed, and his beer barrel replaced by unknown agency. The story ends with the declaration of the biggest change which was that Nick was never again heard to utter a wish. Nick is portrayed as a man blessed with much yet he remains oblivious to his own good fortune. Instead, he harbors envy towards his neighbors, driven by underlying insecurity. So, instead of enjoying his own prosperity and being glad when his neighbors prospered too, he would sit grumbling and bemoaning himself as if every other man's riches were his poverty. Constantly feeling deserving of better while believing others deserve less. Nick ties happiness with accumulating wealth and possessions. Nevertheless, through his ordeal, it's revealed that material wealth does not guarantee fulfillment. Nick succumbs to self-centered and vengeful urges, disregarding the consequences of his actions and causing harm in pursuit of his desires. However, his impulsivity proves counterproductive, leading to trouble and harm for himself and others. As the narrative progresses, Nick transforms in a good way. He learns to contemplate the repercussions of his actions and considers the needs of others. Also, he develops qualities of forgiveness and compassion. It seems that witnessing the fate of an old miser serves as a poignant lesson for Nick. 
highlighting that attaining material things that he desires may ultimately result in loneliness and lack of love. Nick, a discontented young man, harbors envy towards his neighbors, constantly yearning for more in his life. This dissatisfaction propels him to make a series of selfish and vengeful choices, leading to consequences that ultimately backfire. Nick initially believes that finding happiness or satisfaction lies in the misfortune of others, only to realize, through a progression of wishes, that such desires are detrimental to his own well-being. Rossetti's narrative suggests that excessive jealousy and an insatiable quest for personal fulfillment can lead individuals to lose moral grounding and perspective. The story gives the message that contentment does not reside in material possessions or power but is attainable by appreciating life's positive aspects and practicing kindness and compassion. Rossetti may be conveying the message that inner feelings have the power to influence the external world. Nick's final wish to return to his original self signifies a newfound appreciation for what he possesses, highlighting the importance of embracing one's life rather than coveting the fortunes of others. Nick's destructive behavior stems from a deep-seated sense of insecurity and jealousy towards others. For example, he intends to burn the laborer's cottage, which symbolizes contentment and simplicity. Nick's wish for the cottage to burn down becomes a symbolic manifestation of his discontent and insatiable desire for more. Another instance is his desire to transform into a flock of birds and consume his neighbor's cherries, symbolizing both greed and resentment towards others' good fortune. This human inclination is noticeable in the consequences of Nick's wish to be wealthy, where he is robbed and murdered. Rossetti highlights how jealousy can lead individuals to lose their sense of self, engaging in legally and morally crooked actions. Despite numerous wishes, excluding the final one, Nick never attains contentment or happiness, always perceiving someone or something superior to him. From wishing to be a sparrow, facing a cat's attack, to later transforming into a dog to counter the cat, each wish proves unsuccessful. Rossetti emphasizes the importance of finding contentment without comparing oneself to others, suggesting that happiness lies in appreciating what one has rather than using neighbors as benchmarks. Nick is more than just the tale of a troublemaker turning virtuous, it's a journey of a man transcending his selfish inclinations and envy to evolve into a better individual. Nick's metamorphosis is arduous, requiring him to confront firsthand the repercussions of his actions before embracing lessons from his missteps. The disagreeable conviction kept forcing itself upon his mind that, after all, he had caused more injury to himself than to any of his neighbors. Remembering, too, how contemptuously the fairy woman had looked and spoken, he began to wonder how he could ever have expected to enjoy her gift. Nick's capacity for change and atonement emphasizes the potential for redemption in everyone, even those who have committed grave offenses. His redemption highlights the profound influence of human connections, with Nick learning the significance of compassion and kindness through interactions with his neighbors. Assisting others becomes a healing process for Nick, leading to his own happiness. Several aspects make Nick's redemption noteworthy. Firstly, it shows that change is always possible, even after causing substantial harm. Nick's redemption is a result of his voluntary choice to amend his ways, acknowledging the destructiveness of his prior behavior. The short story emphasizes the communal aspect of redemption, portraying how Nick's neighbors inadvertently contribute to his moral makeover. This highlights that redemption emanates both from an individual's inner resolve and external support. After reverting to his original self, Nick seeks redemption by rectifying the wrongs he inflicted on others, displaying generosity and making amends to his neighbors. His newfound gratitude and liberation from jealousy contribute to a happier disposition. Rossetti points towards the theme of redemption, suggesting that everyone has the potential to change, emphasizing the positive impact of aiding others over harboring envy. This echoes the notion that displaying kindness not only benefits others but also brings inner contentment, as exemplified in Nick's transformative journey.